Sitting in studio now with Dr. Alex Apostle. Good morning, Good sir. Good morning, Jeff. Good to Great see to you. Here. Uh, Wednesday night, I got an email from Don Wielander, uh, who kind of runs the uh, CTE programs you have over there at the district, as well as I also got an email uh, from uh, Joey, who's now the new stagecraft uh, teacher at the high school. And they said, well, Jeff, you know, you do a, a fair amount of media stuff here at the old radio ranch and uh, we've got these CTE programs and if you're able we'd love to have you come by and be able to talk with uh, Joey uh, as well as uh, Tyler Ramos from the Little Creek uh, kind of your guys's are neat niche niche whatever the word is jobs <laughs> to you know run the radio or have the events and things like that and it keys right in with what CTE does for the stagecraft and that was a wide a uh, group of folks from all different aspects of the community were there Wednesday night. Yeah, this is it, a this is a major thing that you guys are doing. Yeah, it's it was a, a kickoff and a, an opportunity to bring our business and community leaders together to hear a little bit about the direction that our school district is going in, in relation to career connected learning. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a good crowd. Uh, and, you know, the more we can bring the real world into the schools, the better. And people like yourself uh, interacting uh, with kids and our school district, it, it's so important. That's, you know, we have a, a, a vision of 100% graduation, and I've said this many times, but unless we create uh, invigorating, inspiring, uh, exciting programs within the school that will really bring kids to school every day, our vision of 100% graduation is not going to uh, come into uh, reality. So uh, anything you can do, Jeff, uh, to help us with that, along with other business and community leaders, would be greatly appreciated. But, you know, the, the school district is moving forward. We've established the Health Science Academy. Mm -hmm. We have the ninth grade uh, academy, which uh, we have some work to do with that th this year, throughout the year. But we're also going to be launching three additional academies uh, in, in the fall. So, um, again, bringing the community and the business community uh, specifically uh, together with the school district, uh, it, it only spells uh, great results for our community in general. You know, it makes a lot of sense. When I was in high school moving through, one of my main focuses was music and band, and I was in band, and I did a lot of that kind of stuff. And so I would go to school to play music, to be in the bands. And I knew that if the rest of the grades weren't kept up, either because of school policy or my parents' policy that says, if you listen, if you're not going to do good in school, we're not going to let you do uh, marching band or whatever, this and that, the other thing. So you go to school, and obviously there are uh, standards and specific classes you have to take to get through graduation, but to have that ability to kind of tailor to the wants and needs of the student to, to feel like they're, they're getting up in the morning. They're going to go do something that down the line is uh, beneficial to them and beneficial to their future. Right. We were talking last night at this health event. I was at the Alderbrook, and one of the, one of the things that people were talking about looking at data and this and that and the other is uh, some perhaps higher numbers of uh, written self-reported levels of depression in 10th graders. And we're like, well, what's the deal in 10th grade? And I says, well you're almost done with school you you're wondering what's next for you you're looking at the, what you're doing in in school and and how it may or may not translate whether you're going to college you're going to go to a tech school you're going to go just get a job out of school you know that's a that's a key time in a person young person's life when they're kind of going geez are these classes going to help me move forward to what I find interesting. Absolutely, Jeff, you're right on the mark. You know, just taking courses in high school, if there's no uh, correlation with a person's hopes and dreams, uh, that's not what we want in the mm -hmm. Shelton School District. And in terms of these academies, in, in the perfect world that we're trying to create, or near perfect, we're going to be exploring these uh, pieces of the academy early on in elementary school, intermediate school, so that it's nothing new when these students get to high school they have an idea of these various pathways mm -hmm. and academies that we're in the process of developing so uh, giving students a reason to 
come to school every day, that's huge. One of the things that Don was talking about was that just thing when younger students are coming in and working on the line in the in the in the great uh, culinary uh, program you have or doing uh, the, standing next to the folks that they're doing the welding programs you know I I took note when he said we have uh, so many uh, females that are in these classes now that are traditionally male uh, dominated programs like welding for example but if you have these kids come in at in the elementary program and they see people welding and they find an interest by the time they get to high school it's not even like oh well that's a man's job or that's a no you say here we're going to I want to do that and we're doing that yeah, all those kind of barriers have been yeah. eliminated well making school real and giving students uh, hope in terms of the world of work uh, I believe is the surest way mm -hmm. to attain 100% graduation. There's a reason to graduate. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we have to provide our students is the reason why you're taking these courses. It's going to lead you to where you want to go. So uh, it, it's a huge task. It's not easy. But uh, we feel very confident in the direction that we're going. Everything is not perfect right now. Uh, probably never will be, but we're, we're trying very hard to make school more relevant and at the same time uh, more rigorous. Sure, sure. And I think if you push the kids in, a, in things that they are interested in, they'll rise to those... Absolutely. kind of metrics that you're looking for absolutely you know if they enjoy uh, geography for example and you start quizzing them hard on maps and cartography and this and that they're gonna go well I enjoy this I'm that's gonna right. work hard on this well that that's that's what we're trying to do in the Shelton schools and to be quite frank we're kind of leading the pack in terms of the region here as far as establishing academies and discussing uh, these different pathways. Mm -hmm. um, I give a lot of credit to our staff and Don and everyone in our school district, our principals, our teachers. Uh, we're all geared up to make a difference, uh, more so than ever before. Alex, good to see you. Have a good uh, weekend. You too. And we'll check back in Thank with you, you next week. Thank you very much.